so it's new to me. Anyway, this is from Folgers. This is the 1850 Vanilla Ice Coffee. Oh, yeah. All right, this is a 15-fluid-ounce can. A while back, the Folgers put out this little line of its of its regular coffee called 1850. Had about four or five different flavors. I believe I reviewed, I don't think I reviewed all four of them or five of them or whatever there was, but I reviewed a few. It's been some years back. Anyway, this is their cold version of some of those, I believe. So this is Folgers Company 1850, which is this I believe, without doing any research whatsoever, I believe that's the year that Folger started. Vanilla iced coffee flavored with other natural flavors. Whatever that means. Then it says over here, fire roasted, written across the side. So let's hop over here to the nutrition facts. These numbers are based off the entire can. 280 calories. Total fat is 6 grams. Zero trans fat, 25 milligrams of cholesterol, 115 milligrams of sodium, 45 grams total carbohydrates, 11 grams of protein, 380 milligrams of calcium, 0 0.2 milligrams of iron, 820 milligrams of potassium. Contains milk, and nowhere on this can does it say how much caffeine is in this. Which is a pet peeve of mine. If you if you make an energy drink or a coffee, you should let let people know how much caffeine is in it. I don't. I just don't get why why people don't do that. Why companies don't put it on their cans. I guess you have to go to 1850coffee.com to find out, or they give you a phone number to call. I mean, just to find out the caffeine content. Just throw it on here. Anyway, let's open this bad boy up. All right, let's do this, folders. All right. Yeah, I didn't have to drink much of this to, to understand it. All right, first of all, iced coffee. Yes, you can taste the cold coffee. It is kind of pushed into the background. But that vanilla flavor, very, very strong. And it is very, very sweet. Me personally, I love coffee, but I just drink it black. I don't add sugar or nothing to it. So for me, yeah, this is way too sweet. I mean, it does taste like what it says, but I would never buy it again. Matter of fact, I probably won't be able to finish this. It's just way too sweet. I mean, the vanilla flavor, you know, I enjoy vanilla flavor, especially a French vanilla flavor. But wow, that is extremely sweet and strong on the vanilla part, more so than the iced coffee. So, not something that I would recommend unless you just really want a lot of sugar, a lot of sweetness, and a lot of vanilla, and just a little bit of coffee in the background, then there you go. Well, that's it for today. Just remember, whatever you do in life, keep it hardcore. Mwah!